Look at this. And then I got tired. Turn to town. Ugh. Oh yeah, if your items are too heavy for your character to use, like, there's this, um, thing right there. It's in stones for some reason, which is kind of strange since almost no one knows, I know knows how to measure in stones. I got a gift. It had gold in it. And an energy potion. Forgot to show the campfire in the last one, so I'm showing it in this one. Damn it! After an Orphros Hollow again. Win without HP potions. Alone. Create party. You see, there are these things in missions called battle points. You have to complete certain objectives during the mission in order to earn more battle points. And most missions in one dungeon, as you go progressively farther in, require battle points on an earlier mission. Like, the one I'm going for is actually a set of two missions that require you to obtain 170 battle points in this same battle. They carry over between runs of the dungeon, so you don't have to complete the same objectives in one time, because that would just be simply ridiculous. Ridiculous, I say. Ridiculous. And we have to watch this cutscene again. You can never skip this. Ever. Hooray, I can't use anything at all, ever. Until I get out of this dungeon. This includes the fact that I forgot to equip an important weapon, item, thing. It's a free thing you get for reaching level 10 that boosts all of your stats called a... At least I think it's all of your stats. It's been a while since I've actually looked at it. It's called a hero's belt. Giant polar bear! Ice blast! Frigid blast! Fireballs? Yum! Um, did that spiked ceiling just fall through the ground? And then it got stuck on top of the kobold. That's... That's interesting. Nothing like toasted kobold in the morning, is there? Yeah. There really is nothing like it. It'll probably make you vomit. In your mouth. That's what I was trying for earlier! That really cool looking thing is a fire spirit remnant. It's used in a lot of crafting. All the spirit remnants are. What do I get? What do I get? What do I get? I get something lame and useless. Evie also has that little, uh... This thing up here. Her health bar has these shields on it. And the thing is, those shields, um, they're mana shield. They prevent her from taking any damage as long as she has those shields up. I gained the title Pot Breaker. It means I broke a lot of pots. This game actually has a lot of titles, some of them for the most pointless and menial tasks, like defeating a hundred of a certain type of enemy with kicks. There's one for every basic enemy in the dungeons, I believe, like Kobold Kicker for this dungeon. You have to kill a hundred kobolds, finish them off at least, 
by doing this. Hey, I discovered the title. Which means that I can now track how close I am to getting it. I'm probably not going to get that title. Stamina! Speared. Oh, I never, didn't know that title existed. Must have to kill a certain number of kobold archers with spears. Fire, good. Wham. Well, and I'm out of spears. Yeah, Evie's just a whole bunch of spamming as a mage. <clears throat> spamming mana mine can be really effective, but it's just not as satisfying as this. Setting an enemy ablaze with a single bolt of fire that you created from thin air. See the shockwaves around it? <coughs> Completed the mission, defeat cunning Etanok. Cobalt cloth. Cobalt helm. More cobalt cloth. <coughs> And a broken arrow. You need to put wood in a campfire to start it. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to get some wood. It's not letting me pick up my wood. There we go. And then the wood magically trails to the campfire. And to show you how it doesn't make sense, it's not just Evie that does that. Every single character, the wood just magically falls directly under the middle of the campfire, and without any kind of proper preparation whatsoever, it just magically works. See? You also apparently have no need for something called flint at all. Anyway, that's all for this episode, and I'll talk to you next time.